this thing right now in UK. The next big thing. Assalamu alaikum, hello, good evening, namaste, sasrika, everybody, hope you well, hope you're good. It's your brother Naseem Khan here, live and direct in the limelight on my show. Every week I bring you a guest, I speak to them guests, and I get the inside out of them. Besides the music, if you know what I mean. So today my guest is uh, the one and only H. Thami. You've just seen the trailer there. One of the biggest artists from 2008, back in the era when we were on the game as well. And obviously the son of the legendary Dami from uh, Hira Group. Let's give him a call. Hi H, it's Nas. Welcome to yes. UCTV. How are you, bro? How you doing, bro? Can you hear me clear, yeah? Yes, I can hear you. That's good, man. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for coming on board and giving you as your little time a good chat with myself. Obviously, we've been in the game for a long time. Not spoke to you for ages, and I just want to say thank you very much for your time. It's been a while, man. Thank you for having me on, bro. Nice, no, cool, man. It's cool. Uh, let's go back to uh, before we go back to sorry how we all began. Let's go back to. Uh, how your uh, roots begin from the music? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So with myself, um, for a lot of people do know, but for the people that don't know, um, I yeah. come from um, a musical background. I'm very, I'm very blessed to, um, you know, I mean, being around music since I was, you know, I mean, since I was born. Uh, mm -hmm. my, my father being the lead singer of the Bangla band Hira, who I recognised to, you know, I mean, as one of the pioneers of Bangla music within the UK scene. Absolutely. So since a young kid, you know, I've been, um, you know, what I mean, being around studios, being around like gigs, weddings, events, recordings. But <clears throat> I was actually initially interested in dancing. Yeah. And playing the ball. <laughs> Look know? at that. And then yeah, so and then I started playing the ball like local. Then I started playing my school. And then it was just like, yeah, man, any chance I had to play the ball at weddings or anything, I used to pick it up, go on, I used to jump on, and I used to play. And then, but, long story short, then after that, I went to sixth form, um, and there's a few of us boys, and they had this, like, a lot of the schools, um, they had these charity events, um, which my school, Eastern School in Hounslow, they used to have an event called he um, Eastern Evening. Right. And we said, you know what, there's always these girls doing Bollywood dancing, this and that, boys, let's jump on. So four or five of us just, <laughs> in my fiesta, when I used to have a fiesta back in the day, we were sitting in the car jamming, one had a door, and between like on three other laps, I'm sitting in the front, and we're just jamming, sitting in the car singing, and we said, listen, let's just go for auditions for jokes. Go for auditions, and that's it. And that's where I just found a lot for stage, man. And from there, I went to university, um, loads of gigs in uni, and then it was after that in 2006, that um, I met um, Rishi Rich yeah. um, through a mutual friend. And yeah, he snapped me up, man. He goes, bro, I've heard a lot about you. Which I was shocked because I was a massive fan of the project and what he yeah. was doing uh, yeah. back in the day, you know. When we were at uni, we used to go to their gigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, it was like a shock. I was like, is this for real, you know? Um, but yeah, man. And then since then, me and Rishi just like, well, our brothers, like we've known each other since, you know what I mean, since we're one year old. So, but yeah, it's been a great journey, bro. And then from there, uh, 12, 13 years on, um, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, from, uh, was it Sadke Jama? I mean, you the biggest artist from 2008, I would say, and the biggest sales yeah. from that time. Thank you. Bro. And obviously, we were on the circuit at the similar time uh, with yourself. And I think you've always remained a humble person, you know, at the end of the day. And that's what it's all about, don't you think? Thank you, brother. Thank you. Man. I think that's, you know what, that's, I think the biggest thing for me is being, um, you know, being humble because... I come from, a, I'm, you know, I'm proud to say I come from a very um, a humble background. Yeah. And um, and I've worked, I've I've worked my way up. Um, you know I mean, I've paid for my uni and I've grafted, man. I've not had anything on the plate. Yeah. So and to respect that, I think is the biggest thing. I think the biggest thing is to have those people around you. You Absolutely. can have a lot of people around you that are going to give you the hype and you know what I mean. But that, how long does that last for? You know, you're not going to take that home when you're going to bed or nothing. You know? No, no, it's just for that buzz for that moment so you said everything in good proportion bro That's absolutely I, <laughs> I mean recently I would say about a couple of years ago you did a video was it in Marrakesh yeah with Mumsy yes, I yes. think yeah, I must yeah. have I must have missed you then because in 2018 I was recording in a sheet in Marrakesh 
and it was the same okay. de- it was the same destination what I seen on the video and I was telling my family at home I go I've just come from there you know where the water was yeah, and really. all that <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah, my question was, you yeah, had a mad time, bro. And the thing is, when we travel, bro, it's just, um, it's just mental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from, absolutely. From the get go, bro. From uh, from the airport, it's just, it's just madness all the way. It's just jokes, and that video is just incredible, bro. Absolutely. And man. I, I, I need to go back soon, bro. <laughs> <laughs> did you go? Did you go climb that big mountain as well on the side when you had a? Yes, we did, man. We done that as well. We shot the whole video there. Yeah, and um, it's, it's just great, bro. And it's just um, from the video you can see it. Um, for the people that haven't seen it, John Cadbury Javid, myself, and Monty produced the line. Um, the video is just dope, bro. We had no models in the video. We yeah. had no, no. It was just real, you know. We done our performance shots, and the rest of it was just climbing up mountains with um, <laughs> you know, me, me and Monty, and just having jokes and you know, giving high fives on the way, and just capturing just normality. So yeah, yeah man, we went up the mountains. That's what it's about. It was very touch, but it was it was a great it was a, it was a great experience. No, that's good, man. That's good. And uh, on your journey, uh, H, obviously we've all been through our journey. I left music seven years ago. Uh, obviously, yeah. started reciting the sheets and stuff, but that doesn't mean it's not in me or I don't listen to it. Hence, I knew all you lads. Uh, don't yeah. you think you've seen a bit of hate on the way or a bit of envy? Um, what do you mean? Has it like any obstacles or no? But in regards to hate, like for example, sometimes you have people around you who aren't really supposed to be around you, but you think they're your friends, and then you get some people hating on you just because they're a bit jealous. I think, you know, that's with, that's with I think, any profession. You know, it's not only music. I think um, with my stuff, um, you know, the thing is that it's, I think every single human being comes, um, you know what I mean, comes in touch with people that um, either stay with them um, for long term or either just there for the moment, um, or, you know what I mean, you pick up where you left from. And I'm, I'm very lucky that the people that, I've been around, I've never sort of had that, um, you know I mean, obstacle where I fell out with people. Uh, yeah. That's one thing I really, I'm really against, you know. If if it is, something's not working, then you just be normal, man. Pick up from the same, like, keep your distance, keep your arms length, and just keep it sweet. But I've not really had that experience, bro, you know. Yeah, and yeah. I think it's it's a case of even people that I don't meet um, for a while and I meet them after a long time. Yeah, you pick up off the same um, page that we left off at, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I think, um, but again, it's bro, it's human, man. It's yeah, just yeah. you're gonna pass, you're gonna face these obstacles. There's gonna be people that don't like you. Not everyone um, is gonna like you, you know. And like, I'm not saying that I ain't got hate before. I ain't, but the thing is that it's it depends if you let it affect you. Yeah, yeah. If, it, if you let it affect you, it's gonna affect on your work. It's gonna affect on the mass people that actually love you. You know. Yeah, yeah. And the biggest thing is, bro, you need to love yourself to love other people, that's what I believe. You know? Absolutely. And I'm, I'm proud of my work and I know I haven't sort of um, hurt anyone in that way and I'm, I'm, just, I'm just like clean, I'm just like doing my thing and you just have to do that. But yeah, there are there, there are times where it does hit you, but um, I've been through that, bro. I've been there, done that, worn the t-shirt and that's all about positive vibes. <laughs> Absolutely, bro. That's what I mean. I think that's how you learn, you know, when we go through that, then you learn and yeah. right, once you've learned, you become a bigger and better person actually because you have that value. You grow every day, bro. That's it. When when you were doing your writing your songs, were you getting them written from somebody or were you putting your own intake as well? Um, do you know what the thing? My vision is like now through this pandemic, we've been obviously. You know, what I mean, I've been I've not been sat down for so long in my life. Thirteen years, all I've done is traveling. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. And now I know my inspiration comes from traveling, bro. Um, you know, what I mean, traveling the world, going to different places, meeting different people, uh, being around people. That's how you get inspired. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, now it's been amazing in terms of I've, I've been around my family, my kids, my wife. It's been an incredible time. Yeah. Um, but now I'm focusing on new music. I know I need to travel now, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's that and time. The thing yeah. is that with, with music, um, you can get inspired anywhere, bro. You can get inspired by, inspired by walking, running, scenery, um, your daily conversation. It could be a conversation I'm having with a friend of mine today. I think, oh, you know what? That's a good topic to touch on. But um, again, everything is about timing. <laughs> Absolutely. No, 100% you're right. We're just going to take a quick break, H. Stay on the line. We'll yeah, be right yeah. back. Right, guys, right. we're just going to take a twi- quick break and I'll be with you in about uh, a minute or so.
Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Uh, it's your brother Nas Khan here, and my guest today is H. Tommy. Hey, H. How are you, bro? Yes, brother. How are you? Good, man. Good, man. Uh, once again, good. thanks a lot for coming uh, and giving me your time, my bro. These days, it's very. Well, these well. days, I know we've got the pandemic going on, and obviously, there's so many other artists out there who you try to contact, and they just don't get back to you. But with yourself and uh, Apache and a few other artists, boom, straight away, yeah. bro. It was love, man. And that's what it's about. Nah, okay. Anytime, bro. Thank you guys, man, for... No. I mean, you guys are doing some hard work, bro, behind the scenes, oh, which people need to recognise, you know? Absolutely, bro, absolutely. I want to say one thing, bro. Recently, there was some stuff going on. Obviously, you come from a Sikh background yourself, yeah? Uh, yeah. There was some stuff still going on in India with the protests by the farmers, how they're being uh, abused and, you know, tarnished whilst they're doing... Basically, yeah. it was just trying to stand up for the rights and the government's taken everything away from them and now all this, you know, hangama and fighting is going on, which is totally disturbing, bro. And what, yeah. what are your feelings on that? Well, do you know what? To be honest, um, I literally, obviously when it when it all started and stuff, um, which everyone put posts up and stuff, you know, because yeah. obviously the message gets around. Yeah. And then I was I was into it and there's, I was paying a lot of attention to what was going on, this and that. And then... Yeah. I thought of, it was just like obviously day by day, nothing was happening, and everyone's uh, protesting and stuff. Yeah. But now, especially this like 26th um, issue that yeah. happened, um, obviously it was a national day and stuff. Yeah. And um, it's just unbelievable how this government is a government, you know. And it's, it's it's sad, bro, because I think like like if I'm hurt about it, I can't even imagine what my dad feels. You know, yeah. because my dad was born in India. Absolutely, 100%. And, um, you know, and all the people out there, the innocent people, they're just fighting for the rights, bro. Do you know what they're fighting for? They're fighting for humanity, you know? Yeah. And the picture I've, I've been posting up on my socials, people can see, and the post that I'm putting, I'm not putting it back. I'm just saying, do you know what? Is this how you treat humans, you know? There's people that have been literally battered, bro. Absolutely, for, I've seen it. No, and the thing is that the police are watching. Yeah, they're not doing anything. Other people that are on their side that are not in uniforms uh, are, like sort of starting it but again media is only going to show that and show that yeah you know it's like people that are causing problems and it's sad bro it's you know I mean, where is the, I mean especially at a time we're living in right now with a pandemic you would think that you know what people would have sort of sat back and thought you know what life is too short with this pandemic man people are dying left right center all over the world absolutely but um you know what i mean these people it's, it's just crazy bro and now today i saw some videos of like people, and I'm like now I'm just looking at the positive stuff. You know, I mean, there's um, some guys from Pakistan, Muslim uh, family, um, a very strong Muslim believer, and he's like, "Listen, man, this ain't right." And he's with, um, you know, I mean, up in like Punjabi Sikhs with Absolutely. the farmers, and it's it's great to see that, you know. And I think that's what we need to focus on now. And this is need, and this you know? is the thing. Enough of this has happened. That's happened. Get they, these whatever these, um, you know, I mean, these the three that they've laid down these laws. Um, and just focus on like now. I spoke to a few people today. There's it's peaceful protest now in Delhi. There's not. Yeah. There's not. But all the stuff that was happening is coming out now because the government um, blocked the, the internet over yeah. the last few days. You know. Yeah, yeah, they have. Yeah. Um, yeah, and do you know what? I think the biggest thing is I think our government um, and the governments all over the world. I'm just so surprised um, that there's hardly any support, bro, for that. You know, it's it's, it's crazy, and like we saw. I don't know if you've seen a picture. It's a picture of Sadar. Um, he had his turban. Um, you know, his, yeah, I've seen it. That's um, the one I put on. taken off, and there's this guy that's got his foot on his face, exactly like um, um, the America, yeah, the yeah. Black Lives Matter, when that kicked off. It's the exact same thing. You know, yeah, yeah. where is that humanity gone? You know, now where is like everyone? There was a lot of people that even I know that were posting um, whilst Black Lives Matter, which I even posted. You know, yeah, which. Yeah. Like it's true that, that that issue needed to be um, aired. It needed to be raised, you know, and it made a big impact. Absolutely. But the people, our own people, are not posting about our own issues, which is it's, it's quite crazy to see that, bro. You know, and it, I think it's more upsetting, man. It's it's more about unity um, and just sort of these farmers out there that are working, bro, day night. We can't even do quarter of what they do, bro. No, we can't. You know? man. I've seen it. I've uh, seen it when are, I was yeah. when I was back home, and obviously we do a lot of zimidara there ourselves. And I've seen it how they go in the morning and they come in the evening just for a hundred rupees, bro, which is nothing, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. We can't even imagine, bro, how, no. how hard they work. And the thing is that it's, bro, it's with anyone. You can be patient. You can hold your gusta back for a while. What does that mean? You're going to keep getting kicked into your teeth and you take it. You're going to rebel one day, bro. Absolutely. It's human nature. 
And same thing yeah. was happening, you know, obviously all around the world, you have had cases, obviously with Kashmir as well at that time, you know what I mean? Yeah. And now you're having it with the Sikh brothers and obviously the unity is a big part, like you said, and obviously we believe in that, but it always, it just takes one person to paint everybody with the same brush. And yeah. that's the what thing is, that, you know, it's, I'll be honest, the masses um, know what's going on, but it's a small minority which the media is focusing on. The, the media need people to watch their news, and that's what they're doing. They yeah. are um, putting they are putting news that people are going to be interested in. And uh, to be honest, man, it's, it's a fact. People are interested in negativity and positivity. Yeah, yeah, and I've people, said... Uh, people, like, people will never, they will never talk about um, day and night um, the longer stores that they fed the police. They spoke about it, it was great humanity, but now, what about the police? They forgot about that one now, haven't they? Yeah, they have, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy, bro. It's just, um, but that's just news, like, Anything with our music, bro. If we do something wrong, you get picked up on it. But you'll never talk about people. Will never talk about the positive things that you do in life, yeah. uh, which is sad, bro. You know, which it's is very sad. sad. So I'm just praying, bro. Um, it all sort of calms down and um, people are safe. Because I just read a um, recent post um, that someone sent out to me, and they're saying there's 500 people, bro, from um, Haryana and somewhere else in India that are missing. You know. Look at that. Um, so, which we don't know. They're saying, oh, no, they're not in the police. There's something obviously going on, you know? Yeah, there is. Um, which is bad, bro, because, um, you know what I mean? It's, come on, man, these, these are people's sons and daughters and fathers and mothers. They're the ones, you know what I mean, that are missing. So I really pray for peace, bro. I really pray that everything sort of just calms down. That's it, man. They're just trying to, they're just trying to, they're just trying to. investigating all this or causing all this, even for them, bro, I really pray for them that they, see a bit of sense and light and just I mean yeah they're just, they're just causing that negativity and like they, they don't they're trying to silence you but if you if you if you obviously you got to speak out for something and then if, if it doesn't happen you're going to protest that's how it, that's how it goes but it doesn't mean yeah. you you attack innocent people you know they've got families as well now them 500 people that are missing how what their families going to yeah. be feeling like exactly you know, it's very sad, but I hope, yeah, I hope it all comes into place and perspective yeah, and, and they win out yeah, and they come out strong, man. That's my blessings there. Um, going forward, H, man, what's in the pipeline for you? Because this pandemic has just kicked everybody's head in. I mean, a lot of people, yeah, man. Yeah, they're going, going getting anxiety because obviously it's just like, you don't know what's going on, man. One day you're okay, the other day you're thinking, whoa, like yourself. You're yeah, it's, to, not, it's crazy, man. It's been a mad, obviously, I think, obviously we've just been told that it's going to be sorted out. Um, to be honest, I'll tell you it's sorted out. I don't think we'll know. Yeah. So um, I'm just um, I just I, I I had COVID um, at the start of the year. Yeah. And I was bad, bro. Um, you know, what I mean, I was I was in a really bad state, and yeah. it took it out of me, bro. It's just this week that I've started to sort of get sort of like back to normality. Yeah. But the headaches and my body aches are still there, continuous. But um, I feel sorry for the people that have had it like way worse than what I have, you know. Yeah. And I think the biggest thing right now is just to stay safe. Um, I've been busy uh, during lockdown. Um, I've, you know, I've just built my studio at my house, which I've been wanting for years, so I can't yeah. wait. I've got loads of songs in the pipeline, got them done. I've uh, got a new venture um, in, obviously, where I live. got a restaurant here. Fantastic. Uh, with a partner. So I'm just working on different, different things. Bro. I'm in Pakistan um, next month, yeah. which I'm really looking forward to. I've got a wedding out there, a wedding gig. So I'll be in Fantastic. Islamabad, and then, but I'll be traveling around Pakistan as well, and yeah. there's a few more inquiries for weddings out there, as people know. And yeah, man, so I'm just looking forward to this year, bro. It's going to be good, releasing a lot of new music, bro. And that's what it's about, bro. Once you get you back on track again, you'll be like yeah. buzzing again, like you used to. <laughs> that's it, bro. We need to, we need to be geeking back on the road, bro. That's I've been it, off stage for too long. <laughs> I want to say, any message um, in closing do you want to give out to the youth out there? Yeah, man, just um, a big shout out to people, man, that for supporting me from day one. And for the people that are new to my music, new to myself, um, yeah, man, just enjoy the vibes and just be a good soul, man. That's all, that's always, um, you know what I mean? My message is be a good soul, be clean hearted, and work hard, man. Just have good intentions in life, you know? Uh, spread the positivity and stay away from negativity, man. You know what I mean? And just always believe in yourself, whatever you want to do, music, sports, education, whatever it is, always believe in yourself, man. Fantastic case. Thank you so much for joining me yep. on UCTV. Wicked brother, thank you so much for having me on once again. No problem, and man. Best wishes, man. Stay safe. You too. Have a good evening, yeah. Take it easy. Yeah, take care, bro. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. And there you go, guys. H Dami, man. H Dami. Uh, many of you know, many of you don't. And now you do know, especially the youngsters. Big in the game. Uh, and uh, he gave me his time. Come on here and give us an interview. And obviously spoke about some in-depth stuff as well. So... 
Until next time, guys, stay safe and uh, catch you next time.